As anxious parents stalk grocery store shelves in search of baby formula, late today, new action from the president. President Joe Biden announcing he's invoking the Defense Production Act to address widespread shortage and to get ingredients to manufacturers to help speed up production. The Defense Production Act gives the government the ability to require suppliers to direct needed resources to infant formula manufacturers before any other customer who may have ordered that good. The president also launching Operation Fly Formula, directing Department of Defense commercial aircraft to pick up infant formula that meets American health requirements overseas and to bring it back to the U.S. while American manufacturers ramp up production. I've directed my team to do everything possible to ensure there's enough safe baby formula and that it's quickly reaching families that need it the most. The ongoing shortage has triggered public outcry from parents and lawmakers. Janessa Mills, a mother of four from Sacramento, has twins who require special formula. I went on Facebook and posted on Friday of last week. Literally drove everywhere possible. And in Tennessee, two children hospitalized after their parents were forced to find an alternative to their specialized formula made by shuttered formula maker Abbott. They were dehydrated. I mean, they, they needed fluid. And again, because these kids have short value, it's not like you can just give them rehydration fluids orally. And they needed IV hydration. The Abbott plant that makes specialized formulas for kids may reopen in two weeks after an agreement with the FDA, but it would take up to two more months to get their products onto shelves. And while the FDA is moving to import brands of formula not currently sold in the U.S., that could also take weeks. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to sit here and watch our kids suffer? Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.